Did I meet my goals in 2023? Let's rewind. This year was so crazy for me. I started off the year with some spring products and then I had to close down my shop because I was limited on time. I had to say goodbye to my friends and family because I was getting married and preparing for my move from Rhode Island to Minnesota. Although this year was so busy, I feel like I didn't meet any of my goals that I set for myself in 2023. And I actually forgot what my goals were until I rewatched my 2023 goals video, which I'll link up here. And surprisingly, I did meet some of my goals, personal and business wise. Kind of crazy to say. I was getting all sad and stuff because it felt like I didn't make any progress this year, but even though it was slow progress, I'm still happy to say I did it. Kinda. I'm definitely not where I want to be, but it's okay. A new year means a new chapter and a fresh start. Now, you're probably wondering what were my goals in 2023? So just a quick breakdown. For my personal goals, one, I wanted to travel more, which I did. I went to St. Lucia for my honeymoon and then I went to Disney. My second personal goal was that I wanted to fill out one entire sketchbook and did I do that? No. I bought a tiny sketchbook and filled like the first spread and it was so bad. I don't even know where it is right now. I don't even know if I brought it with me when I moved. I don't know. I, I have not seen it so I don't know where it is. I might have tossed it. I don't know. And then my third personal goal was that I want to create the life that I've always dreamed of. I am getting there, but not really. I'm a broke girl right now, and it ain't it. <laughs> and in my, for my business goals for 2023, I wanted to create designs for every season, which I pretty much did, but not a lot. I did what I could. I reopened my shop, I think, in August. And so I already missed like spring and summer, which is, I think, fine because most of my products are like floral and nature related um so i feel like that's already like spring and summer ish and then my next business goal for 2023 was making 300 or more sales on etsy and i'm at 220 oh maybe next year i also wanted to vend at markets but yeah that i definitely was not ready for that like 2024 might be a better year <laughs> And then my last business goal was growing my YouTube. Let's see how many subscribers I got now. 410. Hey, that's my height. <laughs> wow, I got 410 of you guys supporting me. That's amazing. I never thought that I would gain this many of you guys like this year. But I'm so blessed and grateful to have your support. Who wants to make it 411? Maybe 500? 1,000? I'm just kidding. I'm dreaming too much. <laughs> so fun fact, I actually started this channel without like telling any of my friends or family because I was like way too scared to show them but I started gaining subscribers naturally up until like 300 or so and it really really inspired me to just keep going because that means like I had people that I didn't know or that didn't know me that actually wanted to support me so you guys thank you and now on to my goals for 2024. Um, there's just so much that I want to do, but I don't want to make this video like too, too long. So I'll just say like my main goals. So number one, I still want to grow this YouTube channel. Honestly, social media isn't like doing it for me. Like, it's so hard to grow there. Like I've been stuck at where I am for so long. Like I still haven't even hit like 1K on either platform, TikTok and Instagram. And it's so depressing. And like I want to focus on YouTube and create like, you know, a nice little community here. I love to film and edit anyways. Like even though I'm so lazy to film sometimes, like I still like to document my life and share that with you guys. Like and document into my journey and stuff. Anyway, so goal number two for 2024 is to get rich. Just kidding. Not really. I've been like jobless for like ever now. I feel like it's been forever. I mean, I've been door dashing, but the income there is inconsistent. And it's sad to say, but I barely get sales on an Etsy, like not enough to pay my bills. So I've been applying for jobs and it's, it's just so hard being an artist sometimes, but enough of that. Goal number three, I want to create more like year round products and to grow my inventory. Year round products as in like stuff that you can use like all year round instead of like holiday based stuff. I feel like when I'm trying to like constantly catch up with the holidays and they only sell for that season, like it's, it, 
like I don't get a lot of sales like I only get like sales for that season you know like I don't have like customers who wants to buy from me year round I guess so yeah growing my inventory and creating more products and goal number four making my shop legal and then goal number five vend up I've been wanting to do that like forever I love craft fairs so much like just the atmosphere I've like been going to art markets like since I was a kid because my grandma she sells these um uh, we call them bandal it's kind of like embroidered work and um what do you call them Mong textile work she used to do that um, when she was still here. I used to always go to like craft markets like every weekend with her to help her sell and craft fairs like hold a special place in my heart because I always spent with her and it reminds me of her. So yeah, lots to do for 2024 but I'm ready. And I just want to say that if you guys didn't meet your goals for this year, don't beat yourself up over it and don't compare yourself to others. Like that's the worst thing that you could ever do. Like not gonna lie, I still do that sometimes, but that's what eats you up. Everyone has their own journey, their own path. Some people are always gonna be like ahead of you, but that doesn't mean that you should give up on what you are doing. You will get there because they were once in your shoes. But look at them now. Anyways, I want to know how 2023 went for you. So let me know down in the comments. And comment a goal that you have for next year. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me, please like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye!